You've been waiting for the cooler weather to dress in layers. I certainly have. From turtlenecks to trench coats, today we are showing off this season's most popular ways to stay warm. And Studio 5 style and fashion contributor Emily McCormick is here to fill in all the details of what we need to know as we get into these warmer temperatures. So yeah. thanks for being here. Okay, yeah, I want to start with trench coats. And what's going on with trench, trench coats, coats this year? So this is such a fun trend. You know, as you're talking in the beginning, we chatted a little bit before, and fall is such a fun time for women because you have so much more leverage to explore, right? In the summer, yeah. you're really minimizing everything and just wearing, like, a simple T-shirt. or Easy. You're going to very easy. Anything to keep you cool, yes. right? Like, that is the entire goal. The fun thing with fall is that it's the exact opposite. You can start complicating Layers. your wardrobe a little, which really does that, right? It complicates it. So it either... You, you know, you, you have to find some art to it. Right. So, yeah, today I want to talk about a few of those different ways. And the trench coat is such a fun trend this season. It's so it's popular. Not, it's not a full trend, right? Because right. we all know what a trench coat is. It's been around for such a long time. Um, but what we're seeing this season is that people are doing it a little differently. So we've seen the, you know, just kind of tan khaki trench so that, like, your dad could wear to work mm -hmm. or something. But this, se this season, we're seeing so many variations on that. So in these pictures, the first one, you're seeing this kind of caramely, camel, almost orangey color. Yeah. But the cut of the sleeves is really wide. It's got some fluidity to it, a little bit of movement. And then you have flow. The second option is this kind of flowy, long green jacket. Um, juxtaposed next to the tr more traditional okay. trench. But these can be worn in a million ways. The thing that I love about this is that it's long and really will, as you know and everyone knows, Utah's version of fall is like two yes. days and then yes. we're straight to winter. So the trench is a good trend to buy in on because it's something that will last you and last you. Right? And because you can layer under it yes. to, for the warmth if you need to. How do I make sure I don't look like an FBI agent when I throw in a, yeah. a trench coat? That's my biggest worry. <laughs> this is a good question. So it's all about the pairings, right? It's what you're wearing underneath. It's what you're wearing with it, like shoes wise, right. pants wise. So make sure you go a little bit more feminine on those things. Okay. Like, um, Put it with a pair of boots that definitely says, I'm a woman. Maybe not the combat boots, right? And maybe not your <laughs> black Doc Martens. Leave those at home when you're putting on your trench. Um, and maybe wear some jewelry a little more as well. Yeah, jewelry, absolutely. Any some kind of good. accessories that will like, soften it and make it feel a little bit I better. love that. I love the trench look. And I, I, I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with this year. Um, I also want to talk about the long sweaters. Because I... I'm yeah. built like a football player, and I, can't, I don't do very well with long sweaters. So tell us about the different types of styles we could be looking at. So the long sweater is another really fun trend for fall. And I think people probably do, hesit we all have our hesitations about the different trend. And bulking up is always one for fall because we're so used to minimizing mm -hmm. and being in kind of skimpy things. But this long sweater, you have to think, um, if you go with a lighter fabric, it can really elongate. I mean, the yeah. whole idea is is creating this longer silhouette. Like I love and the pink. Yes, it's a really fun, so there are fun options within this. The pink one is really a cardigan, like a heavier cardigan. Um, and the next one, the middle one that you're seeing is more of a cape fill. So it's got this kind of flowy. undulating, like flowy feeling to it. And then the white one is just this kind of funky, has like a little variation in it. But the thing that I love about the long sweater is that it's really easy to layer under. I mean, here we're seeing simple mm -hmm. layers, but you could throw on a button up, you can throw on something else to make it feel more layered. And the sweater is always warm. Yes. Like there's something about just having the warmth of a sweater versus a trench, which is more of like a rain jacket. Yeah. I love well, like, that Well, and I feel warmth. like you can also dress up a sweater. Absolutely. What, what should you do to dress it up? Yeah, so same thing. The way that you layer, um, think about what you're putting under. Really, okay. with a sweater, that's what you want to do. So am I putting on, like, maybe a um, kind of shiny silk blouse underneath with some leather Gives pants it a pop. or just like something that makes it feel a little bit fancier. Also, do, yeah. you can do it with accessories, of course. Okay, I love that. Okay, next is the track jacket. I don't know if I'm buying yeah. into the track jacket because I was a college athlete and that's all I can think about is all those jackets I <laughs> you wore. You spent your years in track <sighs> jackets. That's all right. You can get Okay, so it's in there? This is a, oh, this is super duper hot this season. Now, for oh. women ages 30 to 70, we're probably not going there as much as the younger generation, right? But I could not not bring it up because you are going to see them everywhere. I mean, this is replacing the bomber, which was super, super hot from <laughs> last year. Of college. Oh, yeah. That's great. I wish that I had one of these in college. They, I was not nearly that athletic, but this is... I. The, the fun thing about the track jacket this year is that you're getting 
so much variation in it. Mm -hmm. So it really becomes a statement piece. Instead of just being this like, I'm a little eight year old boy, you know, I got my track jacket on. <laughs> it's like, okay, I could really do something fun with this. Like the way that you pair it, sure. you've got a lot of variety. We're seeing um, a plaid and a white, and then the one on the end with like a big full sleeve. Yeah, the big puppy. There's a lot, they're doing some things with the track jacket to try to make it more feminine. Like you said, I don't see every woman buying into this trend. You definitely don't need to. But, but you can certainly going, style it. Absolutely, yeah. and where athleisure is such a hot, look right now, this is a jacket that you can put with athleisure. You know, if you're okay. running out in your whatever stretch I'm gonna pull out my old whatever. track jacket right. and I'm gonna make look, it cool again. You don't even have to buy one. <laughs> You've got the authentic. Okay, I wanna talk about the crew neck sweatshirt. Okay, so this is so- That's like a timeless piece though. Yeah, I feel yeah, like. yeah. I mean, it feels so stand. It is completely timeless in that every one of us has one of these in our closet, yes. right? From some generation of time. But um, what's changed with this is that they really are kind of this hot statement piece right now, which is hysterical because it's a, it's a sweatshirt, right? But people are like wearing them. I have like four of those in my yeah, closet from absolutely. 10 years ago. 100%. Um, but these, these are, um, they're being repurposed. So you're wearing them outside of your typical, I'm washing the windows today, or sure. I'm scrubbing the toilets, or doing something like that where I'm typically wearing a crew neck sweatshirt. Now this is going out into public. This is being wear, yeah. worn with some like- But I like in the first one, denim. the tan one, it's like the long sleek yes. crew neck So you can get some variety in it too. You can do a cropped, like the last one is really cropped. Yeah, with mommy ain't got sleeve. crop going on here, but. <laughs> but so you can do a few different things with this, but also think about the layering. Like as we've talked about layers, sure. put on, you could do something surprising with this, like a, put on a really crisply ironed um, collar. collar shirt Ooh, underneath, pretty. you know, and, and you can wear it with a nicer pant. It's just a funny, it's really rethinking the crew neck sweatshirt that you probably Okay, I'm pulling wear. all mine out. Do it. Okay, the last one I wanna talk about is the turtleneck. I'm not quite sure about the turtleneck. Turtleneck. Well, turtle, turtlenecks in our generation were like going skiing, right? Yes, with your jeans. yes. Put on your jeans and your turtleneck and that's a great ski day, yes. right? <laughs> so this has transformed a little too. We're like working our way out of that and, and putting this as number one, a layering piece. So turtlenecks are very, hot right now to layer underneath things. Okay. So putting this under your crew neck sweatshirt, putting this under your long sweater, putting this under your trench, like get a turtleneck, spend the $12, buy a turtleneck. <laughs> but then also, um, the other thing is they're also a good statement on their own. And we tried to pull a couple pieces that would be interesting. So these are interesting on their own because they have the extra detail. Right. So you can wear this with a pair of jeans, a fun skirt, and some overalls, like whatever you want for the fall. I love it and I love the different colors. I love that we're not just going so muted in the fall. Yeah. Like we can bring Let's some color back and in. Bring it out. Yes. Great ideas, Emily. You're always helping me get fashion forward. <laughs> I appreciate that. Please. Thank you so much. We appreciate all the style.